Good evening and welcome to the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. The Bank of Jamaica BOJ says there was a 34.6% increase in the total value of banknotes issued to the public in 2023. In its annual report, the central bank says the value of banknotes issued was valued at 505.1 billion Jamaican dollars. Now, the central bank says this reflected the demand for newly introduced polymer banknotes in the country. Of the total notes issued last year, 303.2 billion or 60% were the polymer notes. The total value of coins issued increased by 8% compared to 2022, reaching $1.6 billion. Now in 2022, 1.5 billion coins were issued. For the country's central bank digital currency, Jamdex, only $200 million was issued during last year. This was related to the government's Jamdex incentive programs, which gave citizens funds who signed up to the digital wallet link. To some news with our, relating to our trading partners, China. Chinese companies have invested more than 2.1 billion US dollars in the Jamaican economy over the last 20 years. The investment from Jamaica's second largest trading partner is based on imports and it's the Chinese embassy says over 40,000 direct jobs have been created. Now, it also said that they're committing to doing more in the country. This year alone, China has arranged for 42 Jamaicans to attend training in that country. And it says in the future, three bilateral training seminars will be arranged exclusively for Jamaica, and more than 100 Jamaican trainees will soon visit China. Now, the embassy says both countries have great potential in trade and investment, new energy, agriculture and fisheries, as well as other fields. The manufacturing industry grew by an estimated 2% for the January to March period of 2024. Senior Director in Charge of Economic Planning and Research at the Planning Institute of Jamaica PIOJ, James Stewart, says this was mainly due to estimated growth in the food, beverages and tobacco industry. Higher output was recorded for, food pro for the food processing component, largely due to baker products up 8%, Dairy products up 1.9% and poultry meat up 2.3%. However, he says the food processing component saw growth. Further expansion of the food, beverages and tobacco sub-industry was tempered by lower production of sugar, down 15.1% and beer, down 16.7%. In the other manufacturing category, a rise in output stem from an increase in the production of non-metallic minerals reflecting cement up 29.1 percent and clinker up 67.9 percent let's head to the markets now foreign exchange trading ended today with banks and cambio selling the american dollar for an average 155 dollars 82 cents the Canadian is going for $112.82, $199.38 is the average value of the pound, while the euro is trading for $172.43. The JSC index advanced by 2,400 points, that's 430 points, while the Juno market index increased by 77 points. Among the 57 winners were Portland JSX, Sterling Investments, Jamaica Public Service Company 7% shares, Tropical Battery Company and Caribbean Assurance Brokers. The 30 losers included 138 Student Living Jamaica Variable Preference Shares, The Lab, MFS Capital Partners, Productive Business Solutions 10.5% Perpetual Cumulative Redeemable Shares, and G West Corporation Ordinary Shares. Now 18 stocks closed the session trading firm. And that's the Financial Week. I'm Javon Keyes. Good evening. Please stay with us. Regional and International News, that's after the break.